So you want to rig a face. Hey guys, welcome back to Tetsubai Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Taking a look at uh, a face rig, creating a face rig today, and making custom bone shapes for our uh, facial rig. It's going to be a pretty simple rig today. I got a pretty simple face I just made, uh, which we, are, we might be doing something like this in the future. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing how I made this guy right here. It was pretty simple. Um, but uh, I, have, I have a couple of eyebrows here, I got a couple eyes, and I got a mouth, and a head, of course. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and, and enable my overlays once again. Take a look at the scene. Um, I got a camera and two lamps, one shooting down, one shooting up, of course. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift A, and we'll get in some armatures in here. I'll go ahead and, and hit uh, armature single bone, and we'll go ahead and hit G, Y to move that forward and pull that in. Something like that. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. And now what we can do is I'll go ahead and uh, add in a Shift A mesh plane. And this plane is going to act as our custom controller in a second here. So we'll go ahead and just move this out the way. Um, and we'll select our bone once again, go to the bone tab here. And under display, we have this custom object right here. And we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll scroll on down to plane number two. Actually, this plane right here, I did a bit of testing. So we have this, uh, we'll call this just plane, right? We'll just call it plane. Uh, oh, no, we'll, we'll call it uh, bone plane. There we go. So now we have this uh, this bone here. I'll go to custom object and we can select the bone plane. Now you can see our plane is being uh, used as the object that's displayed as our bone. So we can actually get rid of this this uh, this plane right here. We, I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and move it back here by hitting G and moving it way back there because we don't need it right now. But I do want to keep that in the scene. So this is our bone now, which just looks like a plane. It is still a bone, as you can see. It still has an armature and everything else. We'll go ahead and open this up a little bit. Um, I want to change the scale f uh, from 1 to 0.5. Uh, ooh, no, that's still too big. We'll go 0 0.3. Point, yeah, 0.3 is fine. We'll do that. All right, so uh, now we can go ahead and hit wireframe on to make this a bit easier to see. And what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and hit G Y, uh, G Z, sorry. And I want to take a look at what level our eyes are on. So I'll go ahead and open up this panel and select one of our eyes. Uh, and we can see that our eye is on the Z level of 1.03443. Uh, so I'll hit Control C to copy that information. We can close, actually, we can leave it open. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and then we'll right click. Uh, since 2.8 is different now, we'll right click. It's it's got me all confused. I keep I keep uh, I keep uh, now we have to left click. I keep right clicking things. It's 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 crazy. I keep getting confused. But anyway, we'll go ahead and go to our Z location for our bone plane, um, and we'll go ahead and hit uh, Control V to paste that. Hit Enter. Now our bone is snapped up to the exact level our eyes are at, which is really nice. We uh, all of these objects are individual shapes, by the way, so I can rotate this if I double tap R. I can uh, rotate the mouth, I don't know why you want to, and I can also rotate the head. So uh, just, just want to make sure you guys know, these are all individual objects. So we'll go ahead and select our bone here, um, we'll move it a little closer to the, um, to, the, to, the, to the face here. So I'll go something like uh, uh, negative 2 on the Y, yeah sure, uh, so we know what that is. Alright, uh, now we can go ahead and select one of our eyes, doesn't matter which one. Uh, I've named all of my objects here, so we have camera, eye, left. I right, I brow left, I brow right, head, light, light two, and mouth. So it's always a good habit to name all of your objects because I have a habit of not doing this and it makes things really difficult once you have a lot of objects in your scene. We'll go ahead and select one of the eyes, doesn't matter which one right now, um, and we will go ahead and actually add in another bone before we do that. Let's add another bone, hit shift A, we'll add in another armature, single bone. And then we'll go ahead and uh, now we know this should be on negative 2. So we'll go in on our Y location, negative 2, enter. And then we'll also go ahead and do the same thing for this right here. We'll hit Control V with that uh, information still uh, copied. We'll hit enter. Now it's exactly where we need it to be. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, change the custom object to bone plane once again because we, we can use the same one, which is nice. We'll hit wireframe on and we'll scale this down. Instead of 0.3, we'll go 0.2. Um, we'll go point 0.1, sorry, point 0.1, yeah, looking good, and we will hit uh, G, Y, uh, point 0.1, G, Y, point 0.15, yeah, G, G, Y, no, G, X, sorry, G, X, point 0.15, so point 0.15, yeah, alright, so that's good, and I'll do the same thing, I hit Shift D, duplicate this, 
uh, right click to cancel that movement and we'll put a negative sign in front of our X value like that so now we have uh, two different uh, squares here and then one giant square over top of those I'll select our giant square and we'll hit uh, S Z to scale this down to the actual uh, size of our other uh, 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 squares here and I'll go ahead and I'll select the one on the inside here and then we'll select our eye which is nice so we'll go ahead and go to the object constraint tab Ooh, I can get rid of these now and like I said I did a bit of testing just to make sure uh, everything was working properly in 2.8 and it is still so it works pretty much the same way uh, so we'll go ahead and, and select one of our eyes go to eye object constraint uh, and we'll go ahead and go to copy rotation and the in the target we will choose our armature but we don't know which one it is since I have a couple of them so we'll go ahead and we'll, like I said once again we'll name these we'll name this big uh, this big box here we'll name this this is the default armature this is going to be um, uh, 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 bone eyes yeah that's good and then for the other armature for armature 001 this will be bone uh, uh, right eye this is actually his left eye but it's our right eye and I don't want to be confusing <laughs> and then we'll do the same thing for the other one this will be bone left eye and then that is good the way that it is all right that looks pretty good uh, so now we can go ahead and get on with uh, with the rest of the process I'll go ahead and select the eye now we know which one it is we need to go ahead and select bone right eye now you can see we have a bit of a problem this is kind of rotated the reason is the reason is because this needs to be rotated you can see uh, RX 90 we can rotate that uh, and if we want to we can go ahead and go back to our we can go into edit mode now we can see the bone once again RX 90 negative and now you can see it's way down here um, which is a kind of a problem so we'll go ahead and do this instead we'll grab the tail just the tail so we'll select this piece right here the top piece um, and we'll make sure this is exactly where we want to be so I put this on zero and then on the uh, on the not on the Z on the yeah on the Y we'll put this on like one or so there we go so now it's in the same place but it is rotated properly now it's now it's uh, not you know flat like that so we'll go ahead and do the same thing for this guy over here since I know it's going to be the same way uh, we'll rotate our X 90 and then we'll make sure the Z is on 0 and the Y is on 1 there we go so now when we do this eye over here at object constraint uh, copy rotation then select uh, bone left eye now we can rotate this eye which looks good and we can rotate this eye and that looks good so uh, if we want to select both of them, we can we can move both of the eyes, obviously. But this isn't the best um, because we have to select both things. So the way we fix this is by selecting uh, one of these, then holding down Shift, select the other bone eye controller, and then select this big guy we have here, holding down Shift the entire time, like I said, Control P uh, to set parent, and then we can go Object Keep Transform. Now you can see we if we grab the individual eye controller, we can move this guy over here. We can move this guy over here, and then we can also move the big one to move both of the eyes at the same time, which is just the coolest thing ever. That's really, really nice. And the last thing I want to do before we get on out, I get on out of here, is I want to go ahead and add in armatures for the uh, for the eyebrows here because it's a little bit of a different process. So we'll add in another armature, Shift A, and then this needs to be uh, the Y needs to be negative two, right? Negative two, and then we can copy the. Z for the actually we don't need to do that since we can copy the new uh, location for the eye so we'll select one of the eyes go to the Z location control C to copy that location and then we'll grab our bone once again and paste it control V so now we're on the exact level of our eyebrows now which is nice we'll go ahead and uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make sure um, uh, my relationship lines are off because that's annoying I don't, I don't like relationship lines so those are off by the way uh, we can hit in to get rid of that panel now. We don't really need it for the time being, anyway.